morning everyone it's rachel here and we are going to just uh, make some things to go in my little envelope journals and i said i mentioned that i you know i can't part with this until i make some more and it's very simple but i thought i would make a few of those um so that way i don't feel like i need to hoard them i have pulled out um some letters that i've double sided printed does that make sense here we go here's one um the ones i used in that particular one it was a um it was printed on um what's it called i'm just roughing it up a little bit it was printed on um this is not a letter this is actual um a scanned book oh my goodness i can't get my words out for heaven's sake, Rachel. Here we go. Here's one. This is just printed on uh, cream paper. Here's one printed on newsprint. That's what I'm trying to say. Newsprint. So we'll do a few. We need to have a few. So that way I keep them. I wonder if I ever put them in my hoardy book. Hmm. Let's just grab that for a second and let's have a look. And then I wouldn't need to hoard, would I? because then I have an example. And I think there's plenty of things that need to go into that book. So let's just grab it. It's just here. Do we remember the hoardy book? It hasn't come out to play for a while. Okay. So I've got those. I love those. They're just made with a book page, if you guys remember. Um, that's all my lovely things from Amity. Loved that little clustery thing too. That's what, oh, I don't need to hoard those. I've got document holder. Ha <laughs> ha. And then those pockets there. And then what was this? Oh, one of the, I want to make those again. That's, we'll do that next. We need to make those again. I forgot about those. Okay, so I don't need to hoard the one I've got in my thing. Okay. And I don't think I do have, that's a good idea, um, any of... There's that one, but that's different. That's different, that one. So I'm going to put this one in here somewhere. So then I don't feel like I need to hoard it. Actually, I could slide it in here. I made one of these with a pocket. These, oh, how did I do this one? I've forgotten about this. So I made this with a fold. Oh, I see. This was inspired by, if you remember, by um, the lovely Tina from Shabby Dabby. And um, and she did them with originally with um, envelopes. And I made uh, just a pocket with a folded piece of... Uh, I must make some more of those. I need to get something in here. And then I, when I don't know, I, you know, I want some interesting things, I need to just... Um, have them in here and I can flip through. Okay, so that one's going in there. That's the hoardy book. with, And it's called a hoardy book because it's it was inspired by Pam from Pandora's Junk Journals. And it's where I literally put just a whole lot of my favourite things in. And then I just thought, well, then I can just put um, all different bits and pieces on these lovely pages um, that I'm hoarding. And then it could be like an ideas hoardy book is what they are. They're an ideas hoardy book. So I need to remember what I put in there because I do have things in my box that I saw in there that I wasn't um, sharing. So this one is on. So I'm actually going to follow the creases on this one. Um, you could age it up a bit, uh, a bit like what um, this one didn't print completely. Um, you could age it up a little bit, a bit like what... Um, Heather did she did um, Angie sent her instructions and um, she did an aging thing um, sometimes for me it for me personally that's a little bit um, daunting to do that but that is what that one looked like there so that one's going to stay like that and let's fold this one you could do some swooshing you know with your um okay, that was folded that way it looks like and that I'm trying to follow the creases and understand how they were folded there and then someone's folded in in half and there but I don't understand this crease here what was happening with that anyway 
Oh, I know. That's where they folded it in half, I think. No, it doesn't. Yes, it is. It's, they folded it again there. That's what they've done. That's how that one was folded. I see. I do see. And I can slide that in there to hold it shut. And when you do these things, it's like you get all these little um, pockets where you could slide things in there. So that's a thin one and it's got no writing. It's just plain. That's that one. And then we'll just do this one uh, maybe like so. Have that on the outside, I think. And I'm going to fold that up like that. And this lovely idea came from Heather from Rose Hill Paper Cottage. And I even might fold that one in there. It's just creating all different sort of little um, directions. Oh, I love that. Okay, and then we're going to put make things and put a belly band around them. I've got one here. I was just doing one now. I'll have, let you have a look at it. Um, I was just mucking around. I used some 1700s book page there it's kind of peekabooing out made a little journal card this is the folded up letter and I put little swooshy bit on there and then um, just made a tag there so that's the kind of thing that we're doing for for once in my life I have a sample so for the for the people who like to have a sample there you go there's the sample I've got one today because I thought well I started making I thought I need to make some more of those and I thought well you know what that's a sharing is caring thing. There we go. And it's midday. I don't know if I have to go and pick up Lulu. Oh, no, not till two. That's right. Yesterday she got out early. Um, but today she's normal hours. So I, I do have time. Okay, so. Oh, I've made this little one with some 1700s book page. So maybe that one could slide in. I might put it in that way. There. And I think that looks really nice there. And let's make something, a couple more things for here. So first of all, I could take a piece. Of, I just love this um, notebook. Oh, dearie me, Rachel. Ripping things up. It looks like chemistry or something. Oh, look, oh, look at that. Someone's going to be lucky and get that piece. It's very fragile. So you could, you know, back it with something to strengthen it or just use it for collaging or just leave it in there and enjoy it just because because we can do things just because as well. Now, I think I'll slide that in there. And then we're going to have something just sitting in the front. But I don't want anything too big. So I'm going to go to... I'm going to have a sip of coffee, actually. I need a sip of coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to my images. I've got some in here and I've got some over there. Oh, I think I might like to use this one because it's not too big. Okay, and all I want to do is have some lovely um old book page peekabooing from behind I might even use this book page nothing wrong with this one. Well, what about this one i might use this one put that there and want a hand tear i don't want it to be too wide can I hand tear? I can. Yes, I can. It's got. You could write on there, you see. Um, there's no glue down there, so that's good. So I'm going to glue this on here. Glue. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Now, I have been um, recording ahead because... I'll tell you why. Because we're going to Australia on the 21st of... Um, December will be away a month so I'll need to have and I don't I'm not going to leave you know I'm, I'm still going to do my videos is my point so um, I will have a little bit of something there I think just to strengthen it because it is a very fragile paper um, so so I'm yes I'm still going to have my videos and so I am pre-recording so I sort of haven't shared my Christmas videos yet I've started doing I've done about I think I've done four episodes for Christmas um, and I'm slowly uploading them and I think the first one will already be up by the time you watch this video um, but I'm trying to I've, I'm kind of ahead a little bit so um, I have days where I've got videos programmed 
So um, I think I need to create a diary. I've never been one of those people that have had a videoing uh, schedule, shall we say, or schedule. Which Are you a schedule or a schedule person? It's either or. Um, and so I think I need one because I'm starting to get confused because I've got multiple projects going on at the same time. It's not like I'm just doing Christmas and I just do the next day, the next day, the next day. I'm doing also non-Christmas. I promised I would do non-Christmas and I, oops, I will. And of course, we've got Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to get ahead with all of that too. <laughs> Don't think about it, dear. Yes, the stress will start to, to grow. Okay, so that's that. And then I want to put a little bit of something on here. Yeah, so I think I need, I need to, I need to sort of um, organize myself a little bit and otherwise I'm going to be totally lost. I'll start posting things in the wrong order and then you you guys will be lost. You'll be like, oh, she's gone mad. She's put it up in the wrong order. So, um, yep, I, I organised the first four. Well, the number one you will have already seen. And then possibly even number two. I don't know. Is this lovely? This is 1700s. Will we put this somewhere? No, I don't think I want it there. So I think I'll, no, I want to put something down there. Decisions sometimes are the worst. Okay. Nope. Not that. And I better take this out from here because I just noticed my little scrap box is going to topple over and I could keep that out. Here I am trying to be organised. Looking a little bit disorganised. Shall we say it's organized chaos? And I would I would never, I don't seem to like things that go right across. I will always just put, rip off a little bit and put a little bit part way across. And there, in like really just instantaneously like that, we have a little journaling spot. It's not too thick, it's quite flimsy. It's on very old 1800s hook page. Oh, didn't glue that down. Now you may like those to curly whirl up I'm not sure. I don't necessarily. So that one's going to go there. It's just going to be wrapped on there. Now, I didn't, I don't really see an area here that I would like to clip on. Oh, maybe I could do it. I wonder whether I would put it, oh, I like it that way. Can we switch it over? Yes, let's do that. I'm going to put it on that way. And I'm not going to actually, they don't all have to have um, little, well, little dingle dangle bits. See, I don't really have anywhere on this one where I might hang it down. I might not have it up for any of them. And now I need to grab um, some sort of paper that I'm going to use as a belly band. It's really like musical chairs with these papers. Honestly, I shuffle them from one, one side of the table to the other. Here we go. Oh, this is lovely. Why don't we put this? We're going to tear this. I'm not even, I don't think I'll even um, fold it over. I think I'll just rip a random piece off like that and just wrap it around. Would, oh, it might not make it. Mm. Will it make it? I might need a bigger piece. Actually, I don't want it down there. Oh, it doesn't make it. I didn't do very clever. Oh, yes, it does. Just. Okay, well, we'll just hold it there and grab. We will grab. What will we grab? Oh, I think a piece of this. This is, where did this one come from? Was this a um, part of the Tim Holtz pack that my sister gave me? I don't know. You can't answer that question for me. I'll just pull it and washi tape it down. There we go. Now that, that could be glued onto your page and you've got an instant belly band with things in it. And I always like that. Now I could poke a little hole there and have that and maybe I just like to use this inexpensive lace sometimes for the dangles. It's really just for a bit of fun and texture. So I could poke a hole there and have that. Oh, I like that. I think I will do that. I said I wasn't. You see, never, never listen to me. You'll never know right until the end what is going to happen until it's done. So I'll just take that out. I'll take that out because I'll probably poke a hole in that as well. I'm not even going to reinforce this because 
it's it's um actual you know it's copy paper so it's quite strong oh you know what the first thing you need to do is slide your pin through your bits and then go through your paper up there for thinking okay there we go right and I just did like it so much uh, this way just slide that in there and we did we did we put our little dingle dangle there and there we go I made one. Oh, now I want to hoard it <laughs> terrible person and I like the plainness on that side okay cool next we've got this one so this one again doesn't really have a spot this one's a bit more fragile because it's got um it might make this my front um, it's on newsprint paper okay so I'm gonna grab an image and just so basically my formula is we could make something with that my formula is um, or oh, why don't we do one of the ladies I like this narrow lady uh, just uh, on on the old book pack. oh and I like these I don't have all of these in kits yet I think I put that one in um, these are some of my some of them have gone into kits some of them haven't they're my what are they called um, this one has they uh, the um, I think this one. Oh no maybe not that one communion cards that's what I'm trying to say I'm just going to cut this one out and we'll back that with something Now what I have down on my drawer here is some printed document and it's back. So I could, oh no, that, that they're just going to blend in there the same colour, so I won't use those. Okay, we're going to use that one. But we don't want anything that blends in. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. right let's get cracking so what do i have flying around i don't have it oh there here's, here's a knife well no that's a well that's a gluey page oh that's not let's use this i might use this piece i'm going to tear it down further i'm just going to glue that one in place put my good scissors over there so i'm not tempted to cut paper with them because they're my fabric scissors and they're my newest ones. I bought those in April when I went home. You'd think I could buy scissors here. I could. But I buy them when I go to Australia because I'm a dinglinger. But I like the... Um, they're from Spotlight in Australia and I just really like them. So I'm going to just crease that and rip it off. This is a glue piece of paper, so it's just a nice way to use it up. Oh no, maybe a bit more. Oh dear. Doesn't matter because I'm gonna back it with something for writing, so I don't it doesn't really matter if it rips off a little bit. I could and I might fold that over. That will it will make it have a straight edge, but I'm gonna fold it over. Because that's what I feel like doing. Sometimes I like to do that. I just like the that edge on there. Okay. And then we need to back it. Um, I'm tempted. Oh, I like the colour of this. This is just a bookend. Oh no, this was um, it was a some sort of document from the 1960s, I think. You know, what, like the plain sight. You know, there was the document was like two pages, but it only had writing or typing at the top, and then at the bottom it was all just plain paper. So I kept it because I like the colour. And the texture it's very textural it's very brittle but very textural and you see why i'm not worried about the rip because the rip will reattach with the paper on the back there we go we've got a little journeyling spot there darling -ling spot there um and then let's do this one oh let's do that one too let's 
Now that's a good piece of paper. That can go on the reverse side of whatever I put this on. Now this could also be nice possibly on a piece of that straw paper just for something different. I sort of eyeball whether I'm straight or not. I'm going to glue that on there. It's all happening. It's all happening. It really is. And I do like these little groupings of things. They're a lot of fun to make. You get to use all kinds of different bits and pieces. I may, make, may just make... Oh, I don't need to put anything on the back of that. It's plain already. Okay, well, let's just snip the corners. I like the corners to be snipped. Let's just make a few things and then we can put the last two together. I mean, I might do another one. Who knows? We'll do this one. Um, see me going like this. It's because my fingers are sticky. Oh, and I want to use this. I love this. This is nice and tall. Let's pull that one out. Let's just get distracted onto something else. I have discovered that I do need quite a lot of these smaller items. I need big items. I need all size items really when I'm putting a journal together. But these are lovely because you can have... You know, little envelopes and little um, spaces where you can just tuck them in. And I thought that that's just a nice extra little touch. Now this one, no, I don't think it wants to go on more writing. I don't think so. Although I don't mind it, you know. Writing on writing. It's different writing of different types. This is, I think, was 1700s. It was just like a little um, list of things. And then that's a bit later. Sometimes it says it. If it doesn't say it up there, sometimes it says it in words. I can't see. Oh, here we go. Mille ottocento. I can't read it. It's 1800 something. I cannot read it. Why can't I read it? Ottocento. And then this bit here I can't read. Italians can... Oh, 1862. What's... Oh... I can see that's a, a two, sessanta due. Ah, sessanta due. I couldn't read, make out that that was 62. Yeah, so sometimes those documents have them, have it actually. Well, I should be gluing this first, really, so I get the size. Sometimes they have it written and not in number form. So Italians, yes, we, you don't need to tell me what it said because I could. they had it in number form next to it. And I was a bit slow and I couldn't see it. Ripperoo. Oh, and I, that's, see that? That's torn very quick, uh, quick, quick, crookedly. That's very typical of me um, to do that. I think it's kind of special really and I'm going to glue that on there and I'm going to leave it leave the edge so just take a little bit off the end here because that oh no that's already nice on that side okay well I'll leave that I don't need to do any more I'm going to put just a little I feel like it needs a little bit of something else so just like to do a little bit of extra just add a third element on there. My fingers are getting sticky. I'll probably every time to get a wet one, but I have a few that I haven't used very much, and I probably should just go to the bathroom and dampen them um, rather than pulling out a new one. In the spirit of being, you know, doing things properly, here's some nice book page. It's got looks like a looks like a shark took a bite out of it. Be very little shark that one. Okay. So I'm going to have a little bit of the writing peekabooing around the edges. A little peekabooing going on here today. Very vig vigorous glue, if you hadn't noticed. 
I need to make it because I just, you know, that's why my glue stick sticks is because I put a lot. You really squish it on. Okay, and I'm going to tear. I should hand tear it because I like the rough edge, but I'm just, I don't seem to be doing a very good job of that today. So I think I'll just play it safe and use my ruler. And my teethy ruler is, it's on the floor. It's a good spot for it, isn't it? It's on the floor down the side of my desk. Probably take me a few months to <laughs> to be bothered to, to pull it out. Um, I'm just thinking I might like something at the top and punch a hole. I think I'll take a piece of this. I need to just rip a bit off, I think. It's a bit long, but I'm going to hand tear it. And that will glue there. Maybe take a little bit more off because it's just touching her headdress. Oh, just a second. I haven't backed it. Good thing I remembered. Okay, we'll put that there and then we'll just patch it with something else. Using up all our bits we are. That was a nice easy tear. Now this is a bit sticky for this paper. I'll just put it aside, it'll dry a bit. Oh, oh look at that, now that's good. Excuse me, I'm gonna use this. Right, so I need to put my glue on here and then glue it on there. That's how I'll do it. I'm just make sure I've got it on the side part where there's and I might have a little bit of it edging you know so you can see it I think I'll just I'm going to get glue all over my ruler oh yuck no I don't like all the glue um oh well it is what it is tear that off if I did I did that one first so then I didn't get it all there and there and it's crooked wouldn't you know? Care factor? Zero. And now I can put my little green bit. I nearly forgot about that. Where did I put it here? Now, let's see how we're going. I don't think we've got enough stuff, but we'll see. We might. And then that can have a hole punch, but I won't do it until it dries. Oh, I know, I need something down here because I feel like it needs something else. I've got a little piece. Well, actually, I could put that little piece there. And then I will put something there. Let's see. I'm looking for, I've got strips somewhere. I also want to do I want to do some things with these too. I haven't used these for a really long time and I always forget about them and they're super pretty and I want to use those. So I'll do something in another video with something with those. Um, I don't want book page. I've got book page. I'm just trying to find something to put. Oh, I know. I might use a piece of this. No, I don't like that. Well, I'll just leave it for now. No, I do want something though. Where's my other one? Oh, here it is. I put it all the way over here. I wanted to see if I had. Here we go. About. Yes, just it will be subtle and it'll be kind of transparent.
Yes, I like that. That's it. It's more subtle. And now I want to punch the hole even though it's not really time for it. I'll just wiggle it around so it goes. There we go. But it did rip because it's wet. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have, this is a very little one, so this one can't have really big things. So I may need to make something else too. So I'm going to slide, to, I think that'll be really pretty just sitting on the front. I'm like, no, I'm going to put that one on the front. So this is little. And I'm going to grab another one of these pages and just fold it and have that one. shooting out. I probably could have folded it a bit narrower, but it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm going to put that one in there, like so. No, maybe it does matter. I need to fold it well. I think I might go like that and fold it again to make it fit. There we go. That's, I'm happier now. That's better. And then on this side, where it's plain, I'm going to put this lovely little journal card at the front. I'm not going to have a dingle dangle on this one. And I might do what we did the other day and just take some string and tie my string around it twice. Wrap it around twice. And I just love that look. love it that's for collaging and those are for writing so all things that can be pulled apart if desired and written on or used okay now we've got this one here so this is probably a bit big for this I've ended up making a huge lady thing that's very long let's do these I'm not sure, I, you know what I'm not liking is the shape. So what I can do here is I can add another fold. There we go. That's it. I like that shape more. I could add another fold. I think I like this one with that. There. And maybe I don't have an opening. I've got a pocket here those there to, oh I like those together let's do those she can go somewhere else that's what I like together I like those colors okay so here I am going to do a wrap around I might use it oh I've got this piece oh it's got <laughs> it's had a bite out of it it has we can't use that one so let's grab another piece Oh, I could use a piece of letter. No, let's use a piece of book page. Book page will do the job. So I'm not going to glue this down or anything. I'm just going to fold it over. Now I wonder if I were to do that and change my mind. Does that all direct? Does that all the change mind changing make you bonkers? Um, I could dangle something there, couldn't I? Let's just wrap it up and make it all stay in place and then decide. See, I could slide those under each other, but I'm just going to use a bit of um, washi to hold it all together. Any washi will do. And I might have a little piece of this lovely, this is a stampery and it's not, it's not behaving very well. It's t pulling up two layers. Put that there. And let's, I had another piece, here we go. This one and let's see what, oh, I know what I've got. About a piece of this. Is that too much? Might be too much. I wanted to see what little stamp bits I have. Here's one. It's always good to have a few little stamped bits that you can um, just use to 
embellish things. I want it to be a bit narrower. So trim that off. And I think I just like it with the lace. I do. I usually like the blue and white stripe more than anything. But in this case, I'm liking it with the lace. I'm just going to grab a random garment pin. And... So I think I'll just, um, at the end of the video, just put a photograph of these whole, like the groupings. I won't pull them all apart. Actually, I'm just going to go right through both because this is um, newsprint paper. It's a bit more fragile. It's only a teeny tiny hole. And there we go. Cute. I like that. I'm happy with that. So that's that little grouping. So there we go. So how many? we made quite a few. Three. We only did three. Not that many. Let's not exaggerate. So there we go. So three little groupings. Um, and then I did that one off camera. But super fun with the little pieces of textile. That one doesn't because I, I didn't want to put one on. Um, but really, really fun little things to include in journals. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And um, I'm going to try not to get confused with all my videoing. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.